Hadrosaurs are some of the most successful groups of dinosaurs to ever roam this planet. In fact, they were one of the most successful groups of organisms to ever roam this planet ever, being found all across the world in a vast diversity of forms, coming in all different shapes and sizes, each one being both dazzling and unique in their odd yet exotic appearances. The most famous of these duck-billed dinosaurs was Parasaurolophus. With its iconic, trumpet-like crest, it is one of the most well-known and well-understood dinosaurs ever discovered. Various species of Parasaurolophus are known from the late Cretaceous of North America, while their close relative, Coronosaurus, lived in Asia at the end of the dinosaur age. However, Parasaurolophus wasn't the only parasaur living in North America. In 2021, a new parasaur was uncovered in what is now Coahuila, Mexico, with an astounding crest of its own. This was none other than the hadrosaur called Talatolophus. Talatolophus was a medium-sized hadrosaur from the late Cretaceous period, approximately 73 to 72 million years ago. Its name means word crest, based on the duckbill's crest being shaped like the Aztec glyph that means word. Originally discovered in 2005, Talatolophus was uncovered thanks to a joint operation in 2013 between the National Institute of Anthropology and History and the National Autonomous University of Mexico. Upon its discovery, it was regarded as one of the most complete hadrosaurs discovered in Mexico, with a nearly complete skull and several portions of the skeleton, including a nearly complete tail and thus, is one of the most well-known of its family in the region, sporting its own characteristic crest like its relatives, albeit much different, more of a fan blade-like shape in comparison. While not quite as famous as its cousin Parasaurolophus, the discovery and publishing of Talatolophus is by far one of the most important in the history of hadrosaur research, thanks in part due to its supposed bloodline and the implications that paint a larger picture of this odd tribe of duckbills. The location of its discovery is of key importance, not only being one of the few lambiosaur type dinosaurs in the region, but extending the range of its tribe farther south than ever before. You see, there are two major groups of hadrosaurs, Sorolophines and Lambiosaurines, the most exotic of which being the crested Lambiosaurines which typically had large, chambered crests that allowed the animals to display and vocalize to others of their kind. This group also encompasses Parasaurolophus and its relatives, creating the tribe Parasaurolophini. Talatolophus was no different from other Parasaurolophini, having its own distinct crest. With this crest, Talatolophus was likely able to generate a wide range of sounds, thanks to the various chambers within said crest. However, part of what makes Talatolophus so important is the matter that it's one of the few parasaurs, let alone lambiosaurs, known from Mexico. This in turn not only diversifies the hadrosaurs and paleofauna of Mexico even further, but it creates a whole new chapter in piecing together the evolution of parasaurs, one the paper does cover in detail. The paper discussed the evolutionary relations Parasaurolophini, or parasaurs, share with other lambiosaurine dinosaurs, thanks to the newly revealed traits present in Talatolophus, revealing that parasaurs sat close on the lambiosaur family tree to Cintausaurs, another group of crested hadrosaurs that are from Asia, sharing many traits that indicate a shared ancestor, such as the shape of the nasals, the crest shape, etc providing more solid place on the hadrosaur family tree. The paper also discussed the possible origins of Parasaurolophus and its relatives, stating that many hypotheses and theories pointing towards their origins in North America. But throughout the Campanian stage of the Cretaceous, they began to expand into other territories, with populations either moving southward while others moved east. And through time and speciation, the likes of new species were born, such as the short-crested Parasaurolophus from the southwestern US, to the evolution of Coronosaurus in Asia and Blasosaurus in Spain. This aligns with other studies into parasaur evolution and hadrosaur migration patterns, 
including another study into parasaur evolution that was published in 2021, just a few months before this one, which was a re-diagnosis of the short-crested parasaurolophus. And upon this re-diagnosis, discovered many aspects in regards to its own evolution in other southern parasaurs. But the paper discussing that Parasaurolophus likely migrated from the northwest of North America before changing conditions caused them to move further and further south into the southwestern United States, resulting in the evolution of two southwestern Parasaurolophus. And now, with the discovery of Teletolophus, this only gives more ground to this idea creating a much more solid timeline of the evolution of Parasaurolophini. However, Talatolophus wasn't the only parasaur to be given the spotlight in its description. Arguably the most important point discussed in the paper was in regards to the titanic Coronosaurus. Ever since its discovery, Coronosaurus has been regarded as one of the largest hadrosaurs ever known, and yet also one of the most mysterious, due to us having very little material especially of its crest. As a result, most reconstructions have been basing it on its close relative, Parasaurolophus. However, as of 2021, the paper has officially confirmed that we not only have undescribed material of Coronosaurus, but scientists have finally discovered the crest of Coronosaurus, with the paper noting that the crest of Coronosaurus is in fact similar in shape to that of Parasaurolophus. If that wasn't fantastic enough, we even get a hint of what the crest looked like, with a diagram displaying the skull of Coronosaurus based on its shared characteristics with Teletolophus, along with what appears to be the newly found crest. This not only increases the importance of Teletolophus, but it opens exciting new doors for its other relatives, helping to paint an even bigger picture of Parasaur evolution. Teletolophus is a fascinating hadrosaur, and one of the most important discovered thus far, both in adding to the catalog of Mexico's rare and mysterious dinosaurs, and revealing key details to building the Parasaur family tree, helping to piece together the bloodline of the most famous and bizarre duck-billed dinosaurs ever known.